everyone, and welcome to GIS Day. Uh, you're going to have a variety of things to, to look at and talk about uh, over the next hour plus. Uh, but we're very fortunate to have President Stenger speak to us uh, about the, uh, the park that's being built, or being created, I should say, uh, in Johnson City. But before we do that, I want to introduce you to some of the people who have, over the years, worked on this story map on the redevelopment of Johnson City, and then a few more on uh, those who work directly on this park uh, video. So that's what we're going to do uh, first. Now, the reason I have that up there is people say, how can you do all these different things in Johnson City? Land use, the uh, growth, et cetera. And that's because people were talented. They just gave you a list of all those with our students. Uh, and this is going to go quick. This is going to go quick. Uh, I also want to say what a, uh, a wonderful experience has for me to work with the president. Uh, it's true, he's a uh, good guy, but he's also easy to work with, and uh, I'm really grateful for that. So this is really the, the key thing here <coughs> about the video. It's doing the part, and I just want to get a couple of people here. One thing we are is in the center of the drones for everything we do, not just in the park, everything we've done over the years. And so uh, we've contributed a tremendous amount of now the guy who's in the middle of this all, uh, not only for GIS Day, but puts a lot of stuff into your story. So. And then we have Randy McGovern, who gives all of his time on, uh, on office, uh, office hours, so to speak. He works with him on the media show so we can get things done. These are currently four graduate students who are working on this. It'll be a great deal of uh, things for us and for the people. So, early steps. Connecting the health sciences to the ministry. That's what President Stenger is talking about here. Next, we're going to look at an aerial view of the parcels that were purchased recently uh, at Johnson City's downtown, near downtown. And uh, we are going to use yellow boxes to point them out. And then in a moment, I'll make comments about each of those parcels and what's significant about them. Before focusing on individual parcels, however, I want to identify a few perceived results of these acquisitions. Number one, the Binghamton University Foundation will own all of South Side of Lewis Street with connections to Willow and Corliss, and of course to the health sciences. Two, the north side of Lewis Street provides a path to Main Street uh, linking to 190 to 194 Main Street, which was previously a dental office with large parking lots. Third, our pathway from the health sciences to the Main Street is through these purchases. President Stinger will explain this connection and accessibility later. Okay, we can see we're going over Jenison Park, and the first building is the Vietnamese restaurant on Willow Street, specifically 29 to 37, but it also has a face on uh, Lewis Street. And you can also notice that the restaurant uh, has a, what was a single family unit behind it. So when you look at all this, you appreciate the amount of uh, debris that has to be taken away from that and then cleaned up the, uh, the parcel. Pay attention to the, lo the landmarks here. The nursing school is one. The firehouse is another. That house on the left will be removed. Uh, but this gives you an idea of, of where we are in, uh, in the district. We are now on Lewis Street looking northward. And we're specifically looking at two uh, parcels. One is 19 Lewis, the other is 23 Lewis. And these become very important, and I'll speak to that in a minute. But for now, these have to be demolition. And it's a very big effort with these two, especially with a brick uh, building to bring down, uh, I believe it's, it's five uh, stories. So we'll look at the demolition, but very briefly. And then we'll talk about the debris, and then we'll make the, the point of why this uh, set of parcels are so important uh, to the park. And there's the debris from two parcels. Uh, a big job. 
Now we're looking back to the south side of Lewis and uh, it shows the large area here that was created. 19 is important of those two because they are the pathway uh, to Main Street. And uh, as I said, President Stenger will talk about this, but we need to have a pathway and to get visibility on uh, Main Street. Here's looking toward Main Street through the fence from those two parcels. Uh, and this is looking backward uh, to the south side of, of Lewis. And you can see the goodwill. You also can uh, observe the very large parcels when they're put together, a large land area. And this is another view, which I think indicates even more clearly how large this is. Now we're coming back uh, to Lewis and, and uh, Jenison Avenue. Uh, Jenison Avenue is where the Thai uh, restaurant was. And then there's 14 Lewis, uh, which was a single family and then a multiple family. Uh, again, we're going to do demolition here and we're going to show a little bit of it uh, for the Thai restaurant and, and for the Jason. <laughs> The significance about this is the fact that when we look at these three together, and one of those is a, a vacant parcel that we had already purchased, but it gives us a large area uh, from here all the way to Jenison Avenue. So if you consider the two buildings that are in the image are going to be removed, that means that entire uh, side of uh, Lewis Street is going to be open uh, for park use. Also, as you go to the bottom of Jenison and turn west on Corliss and meet with Willow Street, you will have closed our rectangle or, or our square to show where these two acres are located and how they're connected. Now that we have seen the properties in demolition and, uh, and after demolition, now we want to make one more look at this uh, from the sky thanks to Jay Newberry. We're going to take a look at each of these uh, properties in, in a way that we see that now it's greenery and it stands out as open territory uh, for the park. Okay, this flight path takes us to the west and we're going by the pharmacy school and some of the parcels we picked up earlier, but now we're turning back east going by the uh, pharmacy and looking down we see the flag which is where the Johnson City Park is. Now we're looking at the Vietnamese restaurant's uh, location which was removed and two parcels that are next to it. Uh, now we're going to cross Lewis and where there was a an apartment house and a single family those have been removed and this is now green and, and vegetation and note the blue house. We're going to come back to that in a minute on Main Street. Here we're looking uh, down Lewis again and seeing the open space uh, and we're going to talk more about that in a minute uh, but it's significant. So we're now going to make a turn up here to Main Street and the cut through those Lewis parcels to Main Street are our access to Main Street which are important obviously in order to be on Main Street and be tied to the schools. We're now going to turn down Denison and as we look there we can uh, see the entire block will, at, in the future, will be open space. That is an entire block when those two houses that are there now will disappear. Now coming back to uh, Corliss, 
we're going to look west again. But again, we get the idea of the vegetation in the open space uh, that puts us right adjacent to not only the nursing school, but as we look ahead, the pharmacy school. And we're going to now come back to Willow, and that closes the section where the new park and open space will occur. Thanks, John. So